hey what's up everybody it's Hama again here for Hama Time Adventures uh, first off thanks for the reaction on that last video really appreciate everybody's feedback shout out to OG Gamer for something that I'll mention here in a second but I just wanted to go through this thing and uh, quickly show you some basic changes that I made uh, to the Wolf King GT um, that uh, were fairly cheap in some cases and completely free in others so uh, hopefully these you know quick tips will help you out in uh, if you pick up one of these and, and decide to use it um, so like subscribe all those fun things and uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you through some of this stuff so uh, first thing mirrors uh, very important in my opinion uh, I'll put the link in the description to these guys there's many different options out there I uh, wasn't able to set them up exactly uh, the same way as they would be on a motorcycle but they still work perfectly um, and allow me to see behind myself uh, the other quick tweak that I made was I actually reversed these so when you get it usually this here is on the other side I reversed them um, the reason that I did that was it's very difficult to reach these buttons even with my freakishly long thumbs that I have uh, so I went ahead and changed that so now it's a little bit easier to access the light on um, the directionals and the trusty horn uh, so that was a tweak that I made very easy to make um, and then I loosened and moved the grips a little bit to make it a little more comfortable for the way that I ride uh, I tend to be pretty tall I tend to be I am pretty tall <laughs> and then over here on the other side um, a few less changes I moved the thumb throttle over a little bit um, because again like I just mentioned a second ago I have kind of long thumbs and so um, it was very close and the thumb was basically under here uh, for me that just didn't work um, it was uncomfortable and, and just it, again didn't work for me uh, that's about all I changed uh, everything else is basically stock at this point um, we've got about a hundred and don't know if you can see it or not about 130 miles on this bad boy uh, really enjoying it no complaints so far haven't had any problems uh, <clears throat> and so uh, you know if you're if you're thinking about getting one of these uh, highly recommend at this point I will be sure to let you know if I happen to run into any problems but uh, you know keep an eye out for some additional content on this one last thing that I wanted to mention here was that well in my last video I did a quick tour around this thing and uh, I showed the locking mechanism here so that pulls out there's a pin in here it's a, like a security feature um, and there's also this which was up in my last video I didn't even realize that that was a thing that I was supposed to adjust uh, now that I see it it makes a lot of sense should be back this way just another way to hold it still um, so that it doesn't come loose so thanks to OG Gamer for that really appreciate it I also um, slid down the brakes a little bit out um, but that happened because I also moved this these are clipped on the end um, which caused the whole thing to slide in a little bit this has much wider handlebars than my last scooter did so it didn't really make a whole lot of difference um, but ultimately uh, they were pretty good positioned um, I, I moved them down a little bit uh, but otherwise they're in a pretty good spot one last item completely unrelated but you should absolutely have is a nice helmet you don't necessarily need an expensive one like this this is a $250 helmet super cool uh, has a lot of venting on it that kind of stuff and an auto tinting uh, uh, visor so which is pretty neat I decided decided to go for a more expensive helmet because um, I'm gonna be riding this a lot and I get on roads with it uh, and it's as you know pretty fast <laughs> and so I don't want to fall off and hurt myself I need additional gear um, I should absolutely get some shoulder pads and maybe even some motorcycle style gear and at some point I probably will actually do that uh, but not quite yet probably soon it's fall here in Washington uh, as you can see from around me and uh, winter time is coming winter is coming as they say and uh, I won't be riding quite as much so I'm gonna take some time to pick out some good gear that I want um, and then uh, go ahead and go with that so anyway without further ado 
Um, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, it's a beautiful day here. We're lucking out, almost 60 degrees. So I'm gonna take this thing all around town uh, and have a blast on it. So stay tuned for some bonus footage here and uh, enjoy. And if you like this stuff, click like. If you really like it, click subscribe. Don't know how much I'm gonna do on this channel, but uh, you'll be getting at least some more GT content. And I'm trying to do basic content, you know, like as if you bought it, uh, not some crazy ass stuff where you're racing down the highway or anything like that. So anyway, enjoy. Catch you later. <laughs> Quick tip, folks, you can see me in the air there. If you are not experienced at riding, try and avoid wet leaves. Paths like this in the autumn, after it rains, we have a lot of wet leaves around and they're very slippery. So tip for you, avoid them if you can. <laughs> 